think it's called unicorn poo. Yeah, that's maybe what I'm thinking about. Think unicorn uni poo. Yeah, unicorn that's the poo. one. Unicorn poo. <laughs> maybe it's not slime, but unicorn poo is the one. Yeah. Welcome back to The Rosie Show. I'm so excited to be bringing you a Christmas special show. It's going to be fun packed with so much cool stuff. Firstly, we have a special guest. He is a Hollywood film director and has worked with some of the biggest names in show business. It's Aran Creevy and he will be joining me here live in the studio. Next, I'll be talking all things Rosie and giving you the most recent updates on where I've been and what I've been up to. And finally, I will be singing a cover song for all of you guys live in the studio. And it will be my first time ever performing live in the studio. So I'm so excited. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am going to be opening the first window of my advent calendar in part two with Aran Creevy. So I will see you in part two for our special guest. Hey guys and welcome back. Joining me here on the sofas is Aran Creevy. Hello. Hi Aran. So thank you for being part of today's show. And I think you're like the first real life grown up that we've ever had on the show. So that's really cool. Um, I know you're a film director and have worked on movies like all over the world, including Layer Cake. Yep. And you have directed your own movies um, like Shifty, Welcome to the Punch and Collide. I'm way too young to watch all of them, but... Um, my parents have said they're like amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to ask, what's your favourite movie you've worked on and what even is a director? So the favourite film I've worked on, so personally the best film that I directed myself was my first ever film called Shifty, for which I was nominated for a BAFTA because it was my first movie, it was very personal to me um, and it only took three weeks to shoot the entire film. We shot it in one That's summer. Really good. Yeah, we shot it in three weeks. It cost £100,000 to make. We shot it in a beautiful summer with all my with close friends, and it ended up getting nominated for a BAFTA. So, for me, as a best newcomer and best director at the BAFTA, so for me, that was a really amazing moment. One of the best films I've ever worked on that was really fun was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. And you I, worked on Charlie? Yes, yeah, so I worked Factory. on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and my special job on it was to look after the Oompa Loompa unit. So I had to look after the Oompa Loompas and because there was only one guy playing the Oompa Loompa, there was only, I don't know if you've seen Charlie and Chocolate Factory, yeah, but there's one they're... guy and they multiply him hundreds of times to be the Oompa Loompa. So I had to work on this special CGI motion capture unit and I had to control all of the stuff that was to do with the Oompa Loompa. And it sounds interesting, but a lot of it was quite boring because everyone else was on all these amazing sets like the Chocolate River and the big boat made out of candy. But I was stuck on this motion capture set, um, having to look after this Oompa Loompa who was playing drums and doing songs. And we had to multiply him hundreds of times for the film. So that, so that was really good. That was really fun. But what was the great stuff was when I got to go onto the, onto the, the main set where I saw like the Chocolate River. I saw the squirrel set, you know, where they make all the nuts. Yeah. And that was an amazing set. So that was a really fun one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I think because of the size of the sets and just getting to see Johnny Depp in his Willy Wonka outfit and see Tim Burton, who was the director. Tim Burton's an amazing director who made Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and he made some of my favourite films, so it was really cool to work on that. And I was, I was on that film, I was an assistant director. So I was a third yeah. assistant director on the Oompa Loompa unit. So that was a great film to work on. And then, yeah, and then Shifty was my favourite film out of all the films I think I've made. I've made bigger films since then and worked on, like I worked on a Netflix TV show last year in America. But I think because it was my first film, uh, it was more personal. So I really enjoyed making it. Yeah. He's actually worked on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. Let's move on to some more exciting questions. Who's the most famous person you've ever met and who's the nicest and who's the meanest? Right, let me think about that. 
Um, so I think for, in, for people that you would know, one of the most famous people that I've met and whose number I have in my phone is Zac Efron, yeah. who from High School Musical and The Great Showman. Yeah. And he was going to be in my film Collide. So I made an action film called yeah. Collide. And I was going to make that with Zac Efron and Amber Heard, who was Johnny Depp's girlfriend at the time. Okay. So we were going to make that. Unfortunately, Zac Efron had to go off and make another film, so we didn't get to make that film. So okay. Nicholas Holt and Felicity Jones came and made the film with me instead. And she's from Star Wars. She's, she's in Rogue One. You know the main character, Flynn, in Rogue One, the Star Wars film? I think so. Yeah, Felicity Jones is in that. So I would say Zac Efron, for, in, your, in your terms, is very famous. I also am very good friends with Jason Statham, who's a big action star from the Fast and Furious films. He's like one of the main action stars in that. He's just been in that big ship, um, action film called Meg, with like a huge shark yep, in it, yep. and Jason Statham, the big, act, um, big shark movie. One of the meanest people I've ever met is probably Joel Silver, who is a big Hollywood producer, and he's notoriously very scary. And he made films like The Matrix and Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. And he's made some of the biggest movies of all time. And he produced my film Collide. And he was really scary. And he used to shout at me down the phone. And I don't mind saying that on camera because I think he'll admit that he did the same. And he was very scary. So, most importantly, what's your favourite colour slime? My favourite colour slime would have to be unicorn slime. Because I know that's not a colour. But is that what we're talking about? The slime that comes in the thing, right? Yeah, like the colour of it and what type of slime? Slime. Well, my daughter has a thing called unicorn slime. And it's all got glittery and it's like pearlescent and it's got loads of different colours. I think it's called unicorn poo. Yeah, that's maybe what I'm thinking about, I think it's unicorn uni poo. Yeah, unicorn that's the poo. one, unicorn poo. <laughs> maybe it's not slime, but unicorn poo is the one yeah. because my daughter's got it. That's my favourite one. Like it, you can get all different colours. You can get purple, pink or blue and it's got this like holographic glittering and then it's got this like unicorn charm inside of it. Yeah, and there's another and slime that like if slime. you squeeze it bounces. Flime. I don't know, it's like a slime, but it's got putty. a different... It's like a putty, but it comes out of the slime, and then if you squeeze it together really hard, you can bounce it and then put it back in. That's a cool one as well. I think it might be putty, because no. putty is like... It's like slime, but if you, like, squeeze it together, it bounces, but then you can, like, put it... You can, like, put it into slime again, so you can play with it, but it bounces as well. Yeah. How does he know all of this stuff about slime? How do you know like, all of this stuff about slime? Well, I have got a six-year-old daughter who is obsessed by Squiggle. Is the shop called Squiggle? Can I Smiggle. Smiggle, that's it. It's Smiggle. Smiggle, yeah. He's obsessed by that shop. And I'm always going out and she's always getting me to buy her slime and unicorn slime and all this different yep. goo. But we get told off by her mum because we bring it home, we play with it in the kitchen, it gets stuck all over the counters, it gets put in her hair. It yeah. gets sometimes caught in her hair. Mum doesn't like it because it always sticks to bits on the, on the side and we're always having to clean it up. So that's how I know loads about slime. So, my mum as well, I love slime. Yep. I think like every kid loves slime or squishies. And basically it gets like... So my brother, yep. I was playing with it and my brother got it out and it went over my carpet. And my mum, um, like me, my mum, my dad were all scrubbing it. It didn't come out, but it did come out because my granddad and my nan, I don't know how they got it out, but they got it out somehow, which was really good. Um, and then I think I went to sleep with it and it got stuck in a bit of my hair, but we luckily got it out. Tell me what your favourite colour is. My favourite colour slime is actually rose gold. And has your mum banned it from the house? No. She probably has, but I still play with it. Good. It's good so, to know. Yep. Since as this is a Christmas special show, yep. I think you should open my first window of the Advent calendar. I feel very blessed. And Do you want to open the first one? Thank you, know you very much. Is? Let me have a look. Where is number one? At the top right here. Ah, there it here. is. Yeah, good. Right, we're opening it. We're going in for number one. It's a chocolate ball. Chocolate ball, it's got snowflakes. It's got on. a chocolate ball with snowflakes, but I think you can have what that. What does it say? I feel like you should have that treat. What does it, it say? It says something. Oh no, it's just snow. Uh, yeah. no, there's no, no message snow inside. Snowflakes, yeah. Just a snowflake little um, chocolate one. So cute. So we know so much more about you, Ron. How about you tell us what's on your Christmas list? Well, I'm getting a bit older these days, so I'm into sort of boring things like cigars and whiskey and cooking stuff. So, like, you're not going to be interested in what I want for Christmas. 
But the big thing in my house at the moment this year is LOL surprises, because that's what my daughter is absolutely loves. So we have had to yeah. order some of the big special LOL surprises. And I They're think like 50 packs. Yeah, she's got the 50, uh, yeah, she's got the 50 pack coming in. So LOL surprises, yeah. and she wants the LOL house as well, which is huge. It's like this big house made out of wood, and it's got like five stories on it. And <laughs> she's hoping to get that for Christmas. So LOL surprises, the big yeah. one in our house is Christmas. And that's all she cares about my daughter. That's all she wants to know about. Because, like, where, um, when I was little, I, lo I really loved them because you got to, like, peel off, you got a surprise, and you, like, it was, like, seven layers or something, and you got this little doll, and it was, it was really cute. So I think she'll, she'll really like it. Thank you for being part of the show today, Iran. And what is coming up next, and am I in any of your plans? Well, thank you very much for having me on your show. I love your set, by the way. It's amazing. Um, I am doing a follow-up to my net, my first film, Shifty. Remember I talked about my yep. first film that I was really love making? I'm doing a follow-up to that in January. Going to be yep. making that. I am creating a TV show, a martial arts TV show. Martial arts is like kung fu and yeah. karate. I'm creating a martial arts TV show for America. I was last year working on a Netflix TV show, which is a sequel to Layer Cake, a gangster TV show. So I'm been working on a sequel to that with Jason Statham and and after meeting you of course you're going to be in my mind for my plans in the future I would love to thank you very much for having me <laughs> thank you for being on the show today see you in part three for all things rosy welcome back and now it's time for all things rosy so recently I've been working on my performing and my singing and I've had a great singing lesson with my new singing teacher, Ross. So here is what I got up to uh, when I done my singing. Not to over, over sing the first bit. And then when we get to the take my hand, um, where is where is it? On the note you are. Take my hand, will you share it with me? I'm so excited to be telling you that I'll be performing my song Handstand live for the very first time on CBBC Saturday Mashup Show on the 8th of December. So tune in and all the links will be down below in the description. Aside from that, school has been going great. I have achieved average and above on all of my subjects and I'm absolutely loving netball, football and golf. So... School is great. Seeing as it's the 1st of December, I thought it'd be the perfect time to write my Christmas list. So here goes, guys. So firstly, I really would like like a curling wand to curl my hair because I've got straighteners, but I can't figure out how to curl it, so it would be really cool to get them. So, ding! Next, I would absolutely love an Apple Watch. I know it's really expensive, so um, I'm probably not going to get it, but I would really love one, so ding. Then next, I'd really love a new school bag because my school bag, I have to hold it like this the whole time um, around school, which really hurts my arm. But, um, I would love one that goes like over your shoulder, so that would be really cool to get one of them. So, ting. And then last but not least, I want these Dr. Martin like holographic boots. I would absolutely love them, they're so nice. They are like these boots which are holographic and sparkly. So, ding. That is basically my Christmas list, but I'd be happy to get anything because I love Christmas. Comment down below what's on your Christmas list. I'll see you in part four for my live performance. Hey guys and welcome back to the last part of the show. I have had so much fun today talking with Iran. Somehow it ended up talking about unicorn poo. I have loved telling you about what's going on with my singing and school and writing my Christmas list. So now 
All that's left is my live performance, so let's get started. So the song that I'll be singing today is Never Enough from The Greatest Showman. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting loud now Can you hear it echoing? Share this with me Cause darling without you All shines of a thousand spotlights All stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Never be enough Towers of gold is still too little These hands will hold today's show it's been so much fun give me some feedback on who you want to see on the next show and remember it's clever to be kind and it's cool to be clever see you next time bye